Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and thanks for coming back to my channel. I greatly appreciate you. Did you watch my video last week? It was a little flip through of the Tim Holtz little two ring little um, journal book that I've taken the rings out of. Well, if you didn't, go check it out. Um, at that point, you also found out, or will find out, that on a re recent retreat, I finished up three journals that I had started a long time ago. And I know I'm not the only one that does that. You start one, you kind of get tired of it, or you can't find things that you want to put in it. But let me tell you a little thing, too. When you do true junk journals, they don't really have themes. So in those cases, they are, I think, easier to do. Um, because you're just filling it. You're thinking of things to put in it and little creative ways to do it. So with that being said, I'm going to get this one out of the way. And last week you also, if you had watched, you knew that this was a brand new one that I was starting. It is so soft, I have to tell you. Um, but I'm not quite sure when I will get this one finished. I will probably take it on another road trip to finish it. Um, I, it's really cool inside, I think. And I still have some other stuff to do on the outside of it. So, like I said, this one, um, it may not get finished right away, but I got a big chunk out of it, let me tell you. Oh, looky there, a little heart came off of something. Oh, and there's more. <laughs> if you followed along with me, you know that I cleaned out a basket that had all kinds of miscellaneous and one-of-a-kind pieces. And those little hearts were in there, and I see they got stuck to that journal. But today what we're going to do is we're going to do a flip-through of this junk journal. And later down the road, I'm going to show you a little trick when you use boxes. Um, but for right now, let's just go ahead and flip through. Um, I didn't do anything on the inside cover of this. This is just regular old scrapbook paper. Um, this is one of my little critters. I leave the blank, the back blank, excuse me, so you could write on a little place. This is a washi tape. This is wallpaper that I've stitched. And um, in that basket, I had been telling you all that there were just all kinds of miscellaneous pieces. This journal is chunky, so it's kind of tipping here. Um, but all kinds of just stuff. Like someone had collaged that card and had given it to me. When I go to the retreats, you would not believe the things that folks give. And you end up with a lot of one of a kind. Like this was a great big folder. And so I cut it down um, to put in the journal here. But you end up with all kinds of one-of-a-kind pieces. This is a paper clip. And uh, sometimes you're like, oh, heavens, you know, what am I going to do? This was some packaging that someone had used for one of their products, and I, I kept it. I also do like having, in different places, some blank pages. This um, has been laminated. It looks like it was fussy cut out of something, a magazine or whatever, perhaps. And this was another piece of that um, double paneled thing that I was telling you about. Someone had put together this library card with miscellaneous pieces. So I embellished it a little bit. All of the little stickers you see and everything in here are things that I had in that basket. Here's something that someone else gave, um, a guest check with a paper ruffle and some other ephemera um, attached to it. And then I tuck it, tucked it behind this belly band. This was a coffee filter that someone had done. And um, this was a tag that, whoops, this was a tag that I was given. Um, and so I just put it inside the coffee filter. This was a little snippet that, um, or a little cluster, excuse me, that I had done. This pineapple had been a decoration at a retreat that I went to. So like I said, all the little embellishments are just things that were in that basket. And while I was at the retreat, we dug through the little box that they had that was a give and take box. Isn't he adorable? That was in that box. I couldn't resist. I didn't need anything else, but 
when it's right there and it's that cute, you have to go with it. This was a paper sack I was given. I put a little something in it. And um, just some more book pages. This is not something I normally would have used. But hey, it was in the basket. <laughs> so this is, feels like wallpaper. And someone had made it off. Again, some embellished. Just some other flip throughs. Oh, got me a little glue there. Um, but like I said, I had fun just going through the box and pulling out miscellaneous things. And I really, really used up a lot of stuff in that box. I was thrilled. When I go to show you what's inside of this one, maybe at that time I'll pull out the, the box and let you see just how empty it is. This was something else that someone had done, a little tag and... Looks like German in that cute, and then like a little slide they attach to it. And so this was an um, embellishment that I had, so I added some little stickers to it. An old um, piece of blueprint. You all know I have lots of blueprints. And so remember those envelopes that um, Target had a while back, the seed packs? Well, I just slid it open on the wrong side so I could use it as a pocket. And there's the rest of that blueprint. And um, I don't know. This was some packaging off of, I think it was a um, a rubber stamp. Did I do that right? Yeah, that's supposed to be like that. It's a little tuck. I was thinking that I glued two pages together. Um, when you do so much, you kind of get lost at what you're doing. So... Anyhow, as you can see, I used up a lot of stuff. I was so tickled with myself. And I don't really have any plans for these. Um, This was gift wrap and it had these little squares on it. And I had a lot of inches punched out of um, wallpaper. So there was a place to use them. There was a place. So like I said, I just kind of I went through the box and just tried to decorate. And um, this is a true junk journal. I mean, it, it's it got some decent places in it to write and to, um, you know, if you want to draw or add some photos or whatever, how you want to use it. Um, you could probably give it a theme if you want to. And uh, that would be fine, too. So, oh, this is one of those pages I think I showed you last time where it was a digital and I didn't download it properly. So when I went to print it, it the the um, picture was so distorted. But when I looked at it, I was like, well, now, personally, I think that's kind of cool. Um, it kind of looks like I quit doing embellishing. I think my journal got so fat that I just, uh, on this last signature, I didn't put many stickers and stuff. So at some point in time... I might have to go back and, and do a little bit of something. But I like my assortment of papers and and um and and the fun. So anyhow, that was this one. So this was now two of the three that I had started a very long time ago that I finished. So I hope you enjoyed that flip through. And if you have any questions about anything, please let me know. And like I said, um, sometime here in the near future, I'm going to go back to this and show you a little trick. Um, but for right now, we're going to call it a day. So please um, join me on my Facebook group, also Larkin Lane Creations. I also have a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and I have my own Facebook. Um, it's with my name. And you can also find me on Pinterest um, as my name or Larkin Lane Create. And I put out a video every Monday, or excuse me, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. And I also have a small Etsy shop. So please check me out. And if you haven't already, subscribe and give me that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And hopefully next week I'll have this one totally finished. I do want to put a book plate on it. And I think I'll probably call it done. Um... It's pretty neat too, I think. And like I said, it was nice going off, knowing what I was going to do, having limited supplies, 
and getting the three journals completed. And with that being said, I hope you stay safe and behave yourselves, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.